EA Sports.
Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. They'll go back to the air on second down. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Taking it the other way. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Michigan. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. To throw, it's Orgy. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Oh, he's going to go for the return. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. On the run, it's Coleman. They make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Dialing up a second down pass play. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have let him a little too much. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again and you'll... And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive. Second down now after the sack. Back to throw. It's Orgy. He's right on target. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They move the tight end all over. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Fires to the tight end. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. And the Wolverines getting set on first and 10. The receivers often will run their route based on the side adjustment. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They're going to run it to the right. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. 
The counter run play is really tricky for defenses to stop because it forces you to play with great eye discipline. Everything in pre-snap is telling you the ball's going to the strong side, but now they run it back weak and they're pulling offensive linemen. This defense better be ready because this won't be the last time today they see the counter run. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Finds a crease at the 20. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. He can throw it, he can buy time, he can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against us. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. With the run on first and goal. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Now on second and goal. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Wiggles free. Fires into the end zone. He throws back across his body, and it's picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my... I'm not ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive. Set the tone. Be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half. So find something really quickly you can go to. Now second and ten from their own ten. He's looking to throw. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. The defense coming up big there. The sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few and you feel comfortable getting home and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Williams looking for a man. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Run. 
running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. To the air on first down. Fires to the wideout. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. Well, you got to love that if you're on defense because you were able to affect the quarterback with pressure, and you only rushed three guys. Well done. They're trying to get to it. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Washington about to boot it deep to start things in the second half. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They have the lead to start the third quarter, but I'd imagine ball security was a topic at halftime. Yeah, and I think you take the lead and you try to stay optimistic with your team, but you also say, guys, if we had taken care of the football, this lead would be even bigger, and we might already knock them out already, Palmer. It's just about eliminating the mistakes at this point. You're right. This thing would be over if they hadn't shot themselves in the foot. So ball security, that is at a premium as this game goes on. He's going to take off at the 45 on his way. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. To the air, it's Orgy. Fires to the tight end. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Making great decisions. That's what all of the legendary Michigan quarterbacks have done. John Navarre, Elvis Gerback, and the guy can't remember drafted in the sixth round by the Patriots. Yeah, what that guy? What was his name? Tom, Br Tom Brady? Yeah, I think, I think that's his name. Yeah, he, he was pretty good, too. But when you think about Michigan, you don't always think about the quarterbacks, and you don't always think about airing it out. But again, if you want to be a great college football team nowadays, you better be able to throw that pigskin. They'll go back to the ground. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Looking for space, it's Edwards. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Dances away to buy time. Finds his man. It's Morris. Couple of guys there to get him on the ground. The pass rush has got to do a better job with their lane integrity. You cannot let this particular quarterback with his speed flush out to the right or to the left because he's absolutely going to kill you. You've got to do a better job collapsing the pocket and forcing him to step up. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. There's something you don't see very often. A sack on a screen pass. You know, quarterbacks are taught to hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball, and then get rid of it right before the rush gets to you. But that time, I think he just held on to it a little too long. The Wolverines looking to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got his man quickly. Desperately wanted to keep the ball, but they did not. Love the coverage on defense there. Fourth down. They were ready for the pass. You saw in the back end, great job being in position to make that play. And now their offense is coming on the field. The give to the back. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Jet sweep to the receiver. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that is how you stop the jet sweep if you're on defense. You get penetration up front. Yeah, they're going to try to outflank you, but they can't do anything about it if you got dudes up front winning one-on-one. -on -one. 
Back to throw. It's Rodgers. Shoots it to the left. And the shot play downfield falls harmlessly to the turf, and we played three quarters. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes a catch past the sticks. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with the first down. Washington has it and a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Time to take a shot. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. Michigan stole their winged helmets and possibly their fight song from Princeton, but they are giving an Ivy League level education and defense today. Yeah, and stealing their hearts, just ripping them out, not, not giving them anywhere to go, no life. This offense has no answers. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Bulldozes him. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Husky. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And the extra point gives him a one-point lead here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they close it in style with a 72-yard pass to the house. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he makes his way out of bounds on the return. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Back to pass, it's Orgy. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Grabs it at the 25-inch stride. Touchdown, Wolverines! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. And that is phenomenal quarterback. And understanding right away, dude, you're going to bring pressure. I'm getting the ball to my playmaker right now. Let him do the rest. Let him glide into the end zone. May, make me look really good. Good timing, good decision by the quarterback getting it out quick. My philosophy on going for two is only when you have to. Snapped it in the shotgun. Pockets. The offense pops it up, and they were on the move. Bounced right back to them. Well, every coordinator has a couple of two-point plays in his back pocket. They dialed one up there. They didn't get it. Let's see how that affects the outcome of this one. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Williams. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Just a short pass to the tight end. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. 
Now they'll run the draw. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown leads. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And now on second down for this offense. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Quick completion on the out. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. That's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute game. I'll tell you what, when those little guys make those physical plays like that, it kind of jacks everybody up in the huddle because it's usually the guy breaking ankles, but he's like breaking tackles. Now he's giving you some serious energy. And the Huskies have it with a first and ten. Looking downfield, it's Rodgers. Unloads it left. Complete downfield. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies forcing the... Oh, look out, the ball's free. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Man, you talk about all the excitement and emotion. You hey, go quick, bro. <laughs> Take the lead in this ball game, and then you fumble and turn the football over. And now you need help. Now I need my defense to go out and somehow get me this football back after squandering that opportunity. This coach wanted to be absolutely certain on a challenge. He was right. The previous play will be overturned. Just outside the red zone, first and ten from the 21. Looking to move it through the air. And the shot to the middle of the field falls to the turf. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TD so far, but... When things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot. Touchdown, Washington! And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Okay, Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. He's got it in the end zone. You had to go for two there, and they make it pay off. They're up by three. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll take a knee. It's a touchback save every second he can as they try to put together this final drive. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. 
And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. How nice is it as a defense when you've got a corner that can play on an island and be as dominant as this guy has been all game long? You just saw another great example of it right there. Breaking on the ball and knocking it away. To the air. It's Orgy. A deep throw as the clock winds down. And he's got it at the 25. He just brought some serious energy making that huge play and getting it all the way down to the 23-yard line. That last big play has them in business. Just outside the red zone, it's first and ten. He's looking to throw it, using his legs to buy some time. Snares it outside, it's Edwards. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead, it's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You've got to attack the sidelines. You've got to throw first down. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. They'll use a timeout with 26 seconds left on the clock. So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth quarter lead. Man, it's so hard to be on the run and make an accurate throw. It's just very tough. Very few people would do it. I mean, again, we see the freaks, we see the highlights all the time, but that's a tough thing to do. He made it look pretty easy. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end of this game. It is third and goal. Caught near the sticks, it's Edwards. Touchdown, Michigan! And they've got the lead in the... Touchdown! Man, what a what great, great job by this offense, offense executing the downfield, using all the block, big score, 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 big I'm too good, bro. You too ass, bro. Bro, you not scoring, bro. Bro, you not scoring, bro. Quickly, time winding away, they've got to push the ball down the field. Oh, dude. He'll go out of the field.